it's like you, you take a person by surprise and they, <laughs> they expect to hear yeah yeah it's a very traditional walk up oh oh wow the great Derek Jackson on the organ folks shout out to Sebastian go check out this video on his channel uh master class with Derek Jackson I'm gonna put a link in the description for you but today I want to look at that change that he that was made in the video what is the change guess let's get some ideas going any limitations going on uh, in using it so let's get started That's right, it's six, that Sebastian, this is Sebastian in the background. Sebastian's got some good ears, people, because uh, he, he heard the 6-9, the ending of that chord as being a, a six, he said 6-9 quality. He's, he's talking like a gospel musician, right? Because we don't, we say it sounds like a 6-9, right? But technically speaking, you could put an A on it, mm -hmm. a, a flat in the bottom be a 6-9, a D flat in the bottom would be a 6-9. And even without that, you know, it's, the, it's a chordal sound based off of fourths, right? So we, we say it's like a six nine quality. I would say quarto quality. We all kind of use these terms interchangeably. But here's the thing: how would we, um, how would we do this progression? Let's talk about the progression itself and what it's replacing. It's, re it's replacing a traditional walk up, uh, and in a traditional walk up, in this key is in the key of D flat. It would be the two, three, four, and the five. So the bass note would be two E flat. Three is an F. Four is a G flat, and the five is an A flat. And of course, you have to know your chord qualities. That's what's important. A lot of you don't know what the qualities mean. You know what they are, but not when to use them, right? On the two, you're doing a minor seven flat five chord. That's what the two is for. The two is a minor seven flat five. Now, we, on this three, we could do, let's just do a major for now. We'll do an add two, which is an E flat. And then on the F sharp, we're gonna go back to the first chord, do a minor seven flat five. And then on our last chord, we'll do a six nine. Okay, so the two, the three, the four, and on your five. And this is a sound that's used a lot in gospel on this particular walk up. Now, the change that is made, a lot of people will use on the three chord, they'll change that to a diminished chord instead of doing a uh, major chord. So the, the two would be, the three would be, just keep the other ones the same, the four and the five. Okay, so, so that change is happening on the three. And the change that's made in the video is happening on the three. And by the way, that diminished chord, a lot of we, we gospel musicians like it because it hugs. We like, we like chords that hug a little closer to this. So if, you, if you're using this, because this, is, this diminished chord is a half step above this other one, it hugs it, right? And we like chords that, that hug these notes very closely. But what's happening in this video is that he's taking this chord here, this diminished chord, and replacing it with a, what's called a 1305. <laughs> so what's happening is instead of doing two, three, four, five, he's doing two flat three, four, five. And that's the only chord he's changing. And let's listen to that. You know, it, it's... So, 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 so. Okay, so what we got to do is we're going to have to see because the reason I said it's a it's a it's a it's a really daring move to pull to pull this something a chord like this off, but I think it can work, right? But you got to don't do this to your bass player, man, because he's going to be if he's playing that F, you can't just change musicians, you can't just change whole bass notes without letting the bass player know he it, the, those notes will definitely clash if he's doing the traditional walk up. But let's see where we can use some of this. 
right? Because total praise would be in D flat and they would have that traditional walk up into um, in times of the storm and then you are right. So that's basically, so that's basically the same walk up, right? So, um, so let's see how it would, um, sound so you're a piece you get um, um coming from you um let me i gotta adjust this down a little bit that saw and strings i need a pad man your peace you give me and then and then we have you are Again, take take the two, the three, the four, and the five. If if I was in a, let me let me go backwards a little bit. Um, the reason it's helpful to know my chords is because I could be in any key, right? Say I was in the key of B, which is difficult because total praise is already a, a difficult key, right? And if we were playing this song in B, I would have to know, okay, what am I doing, right? But understanding chords and understanding when they're used helps the process. Because if I'm in the key of B, I'm gonna be, okay, right? You are the source of my strength. So I'm here. Because this is the five of B, which is a G flat. So, uh, two, three, four, five, key of B. One, two, three, four. See, this is gonna help some of you guys that have problems changing keys. Because I'm doing the two, the three, all I have to know is the scale. If you don't know the scale, you have no business trying to learn songs under the keys. You gotta know your scales first, okay? Um, the two, I said it's a minor seven flat five. This is why we know our chord qualities because I have to know how to play minor seven flat five with the C sharp root, so. The second chord, let's just do the original. We said we can make this diminish. And then the third chord, another minus seven flat five. I'm gonna play this in uh, first or second version. And then, yeah, I'm gonna play it as a six nine chord like this. So let's try that. Your peace you give me. Notice I'm playing it with one hand though, <laughs> with one finger. This is B folks. <laughs> And now, let's do it. First chord, minus seven flat five. Second chord, diminish. Third chord, minus seven flat five. And then, you are. But just knowing those chord qualities and understanding the teaching and understanding, like I said last week in that last week's video, if you have understanding, it's gonna make playing a lot easier, make changing other keys a lot easier. Let's try, um, let's try another song so we can, oh! I never, I never did the change. <laughs> so, uh, so that's gonna be uh, in time of the storm. Oh, there's a chord there, the thirteen oh five chord. Cause and remember the the half step goes down, the third note goes down a half step. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. So. Oh, oh. That's crazy. In B, <laughs> using that crazy chord. See, this is fun. I like this stuff. Um, okay, so is there any other way we can use this chord outside of a traditional walk up? Um, well, and again, this is just me experimenting with ideas. This is all my channel is, is, it's not just rules. It's, you know, experimenting with my ideas and kind of seeing how they work. But in the, in the original chord, He's replacing diminished. He's replacing this F sharp, or this F diminished with the um, half step 1305 below, half, 1305 half step below. 
So I'm wondering if I can find another song that has a diminished chord and instead of replacing it in this same two, three, four, five walk up, maybe just kind of see experimenting with just replacing the chord out all together, seeing how that works. So let's do that. So where would I use the uh, diminished chord like this? I'm gonna try to put it in I should wear a crown then. And I just do a progression that uses a diminished and F diminished chord. How's that? Let's do a D flat. I gotta find a, par a place to put it. Where am I gonna use a diminished chord? F sharp. Okay, so I got my chord. I did a walk down this time, so I should work around, I should work around. Oh, on this kind. I think that that's when I did it. I did a walk down to the E flat. When it's all, which some of you might just want to use that, <laughs> but what I'm doing is I'm going to replace this diminished chord here with this 1305. I don't know how it's gonna sound, that's the whole thing. Because we gotta experiment with it um, to see if it's gonna work within the context of that progression. And it was already a daring chord, okay? So I'm not expecting it to fit perfectly, but let's try and, um, see how it sounds, so. I shall wear a crown. I don't really like those strings as much. I want pads. You know, hold on folks, let me get find some pads, man. I want some pads. There it is. Oh, I love those pads. That's it right there. I wanted some pads. I don't know, some some of you guys, uh, you know, I like this, it's a difference. I'm always going off on tangent here, but there's a difference between pads and strings for me. Some people just use them interchangeably, but for me, it's a, it's a difference, so. This song, I want pads, not strings. So. Anyway. I should wear a crown. I shall wear a Goodness, that's such a different chord there. I would think before, I think after that I want that a, a B flat dominant. Yeah. It's all over. Yeah. I feel like there's a, there's a chord that should come after this that my ear's not hearing right now. I think I'm gonna keep this in the video anyway, because I, I don't, I don't, I'm not doing this for perfection. I'm doing this for experiment and study. So y'all may just have to tell me in the comments. I like that. I just know what should come after it. See? No problem. When it's all. These are, um, those are 1305 chords. They're, they're used as transition chords. Um, so, um, but in this case, it's just, it's just straight replacing it instead of using it as a sequence. So maybe it could work, I don't know, but we'll try. I think, I think, I think the chord I'm hearing here is a, is a, uh, it's a B, a B flat sharp nine sharp five. So instead of going straight to here, I'm thinking, Yeah, that's why I'm here. I need an A. Yeah, that's it. So. Oh man. 
this is how I would experiment with chords. Um, so I don't know what you guys think um, about this this crazy chord. Um, are you gonna use it? <laughs> um, give me some songs where it could work. Um, but in this specific suggestion, in the second example, I replaced the F with this. And we try to see if it can work. And I don't know, like I said, it's a crazy move, but if you want to do something really out there, I think this is a good chord that you could use. But other than that, I think it's a great video, guys. So head on over to the community. If you log into the site, if you're a member, we've got some good stuff going on, on over there right now. Uh, I think Keith uploaded this song with Mike Burrio playing The Promise. And I, you know, I, I, I gave a, just an impromptu breakdown. And now everybody's just putting the, those moves, the Locrian natural too, and how he uses that to, to, to melodically, um, connect some chords there. Um, some of you guys are giving some good suggestions with that. So y'all go check it out if you remember. Um, we've got that going on right now. Just log in. You'll see it right there. Click that link. You'll see the Mike Burrio breakdown on Promise, right? And that, that's some cool stuff there. So, um, But for everybody else, thanks again for watching. Experiment. Remember, get your chords, get your knowledge. Thanks again. I'm Sean Wilson, and we'll see you guys later.